Deftones, Battle X, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. I'm going to play all the different parts right at the beginning here. After that, I'm going to go back through, give the full explanation for everything. Please hit the subscribe button. It's the best way of letting me know you like this video and want to see more Deftones stuff. And now let's get on into it. Special tuning notes with this one. Uh, I'm sure you know Stephen Carpenter is using his you know seven or eight string and has a specific tuning for there. And Chino, uh, Chino, I'm not so sure. I, this song, the lowest note that gets hit anywhere is a a D flat. All right, and the beginning arpeggio that's happening here, it's a lot of open stuff ringing out, and basically. Uh, the only way you would get those notes to ring out like that would be in a drop D flat tuning. But for our purposes here, uh, just to keep it simple and a lot more accessible, I'm just going to be composing this in just a standard drop D tuning. All right, D, A, D, G, B, E. So that means uh, we'll be a half step higher than the recorded version. So if you want to match the recorded version exactly, you do a drop D and then take everything a half step lower and then you'll be all set. And I suppose if you wanted to just stick with like uh, drop C tuning that gets used a lot with Deftone and stuff, you could just play everything a fret higher than I'm showing you here. But then again, that uh, beginning arpeggio could be a little difficult to get those no notes to ring out because you're not really messing with opens at that point. It's kind of a, a tricky thing. So long story short, we'll be in drop D tuning here, match the recording. You want to drop D flat. All right, so we'll kick it in with this beginning arpeggio that I mentioned, and it's a real, it's it's just one chord shape, but it's all about kind of the picking and the timing on it here. So like I said, our drop D tuning here, we're gonna have the second fret on the A, and we're gonna go between that, the four middle D back to the two A. All right, and we wanna have, you know, our, our middle finger loaded up on this uh, three of the B, everything else will be an open. All right, so we're picking through those first three notes, come down, hit that open G, back to the four middle D. Okay. All right, come down, hit that three on the B, back to the four on the D. And now we're gonna pick up through most of this chord, and FYI, it's like a D6 with a nine and 11, kind of a funky thing, but simple shape here. So we'll pick that open high E, three on the B, open G, four on that middle D. All right, and now we're gonna bounce between that open G and that four on the D a handful of times. All right, and that final time we go a little quicker with it. All right, and then come off to uh, some of those open low D notes here we just cycle that thing about four times. So let's just try the whole thing slowly here. All right, the chorus comes in, big and heavy here. And uh, just four chords, uh, we'll start with a B power chord here, and you could do it here at the two on the A, four on the D and G. 
that's good. If, if you're not into that, you can do it way up here. It's just the nines on the DAD. Uh, I like to kind of stick with everything down here. So just a couple measures strumming away on that B power chord. Then we switch to a F power chord at the threes on the DAD. A couple measures. Come off to the, the big D power chord here. The opens. And then finish at second fret for the E power chord. Verse sections here. We're back at our B power chord here. And with this, you want to give it kind of a especially like when before the vocals kick in you want to give it kind of a slight bend and release here All right. and then we do a couple strums hesitate and then do three strums and then just basically repeat that that whole thing uh, about three times and then we'll repeat most of it a fourth time we'll do the bends a couple strums on it and then just come off to a big open low d power chord then we repeat the whole thing there And the only thing to take note of, uh, the last chorus, there's kind of a, a drone chord that comes over the top of everything. And it's just doing this, this fun little octave vibe here where we're hitting a low D and then we're doing a, a 12 on the, the A with the 14 for the octave. And then add the, an E on the 12 of the high E here and just strum that all, mute all the other strings. And it's just doing a little drone chord right over the top of it. Uh -huh. 